Good day, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning. This guitar reminded me of how important this message is. It's about bridge pins. There's no reason to shove a bridge pin into the hole so tightly that you cannot take it out. I take these cutters and I'll put my finger in the back so I'm not pushing on the bridge. I do it from this way, but you can't see, so. And you, you put the finger there to, to, as a lever so you don't push on the wood and you lift the pin out. I had to really, really push hard to get that out. And if it doesn't come out, then I have this cool little stone here, which is like a granite and garnet. So I'll take this and I'll go inside and pound on the pin till it pops up. <clears throat> That's when it's really, really tight and really bad. So, um, so what I do after I've got the pins out and I'm ready to put the new strings in and pins, I'll uh, take the pin and see how it fits. I already made this hole a little wider. This one here, see how the pin is up? All the holes were tight and all these pins were shoved way in. That can crack the bridge. It'll open up the bridge along the grain and split your bridge. I don't think you want to do that. So what, what I, you can use a reamer, but the reamers are very aggressive. They um, can make the holes too big very easily. So I, <clears throat> I've taken to liking this little tapered file and I'm going around up and down and around the hole and it, it opens it very gradually so you don't have to worry about all of a sudden you're it's too big Sorry if it's very noisy. Volume warning, volume warning. So that's better. I'm going to just a little more. Okay, so that's, that's nice now. So there's two of them that are that height. Now I will continue and do the rest of them. So let's move on. And the next step. Get my tool here. Tool, where are you? Oh, there you are. I, I've had this tool since 1978. Looks backwards to me. I don't know if that's reversed for you, but it's a... Uh, Saber saw, a keyhole saw, some call it. <clears throat> now, see the slot here in the bridge pin? That's for the, the ball end of the string and the string to fit and slide into. The reason why that's there is um, what, what happens is um, when you put the bridge pin into the hole, this is upside down, it should be that way, but I'm going to do it upside down. The bridge is, has a slight, the pin has a slight taper to it, tapers down to this tip, and the, the ball end of the string will go down in there and hope, and you don't, if the ball end of the string stays here at the very bottom, it will probably push the bridge pin up out of the hole. So you want this to come up on the side of the bridge pin. And the fact that the pin is a little tapered is what um, squishes the string in the hole. So once you, you put the 
You put the string in the hole, <clears throat> drop the pin in, and wiggle the pin a little bit. And then the pin, yeah, the bridge pin is not all the way down. You can see it's way up high, but the string will not come out because the bridge pin is tapered. And the bridge, the string ball, the ball end of the string is wedging itself on the side of the pin in the hole. Now, ideally, that would be as far as the pin would need to go, but cosmetically, it looks nicer to go down. But I didn't shove it past that point. See, I can still pull it out with my hand. So you kind of wiggle and jiggle and pull up so that you know that the, <clears throat> the ball end of the string has come alongside of the pin. And then just push it down to a nice spot. But the other thing that needs to be done, which a lot of manufacturers don't do, is you need a little slot on the front edge of the hole. A tiny little slot for the string and the the string and the ball end to come up a little bit. So you just saw a little bit right there. Sounds aggressive, but I'm not removing a lot of wood. If you look at an expensive acoustic, you will see that in the bridge pinholes. <clears throat> like Martins and Taylors and high-end guitars, they'll, they'll, they will have already done that. So there, bridge pin is not shoved all the way down. Now, when you take the string out, loosen the string a lot. So you can do this when you're ready to take the, these out and push the string down into the hole. The pin will come right out. If you release the ball, end of the string from the side of the pin where it's pushing and holding it taut. Um, you release that, then your pin will come right out. Oh, see? Boom. So again, you put it in and you just wiggle and jiggle a little bit so the ball comes up on the side of the pin and pull the string and the pin won't come out so that's as deep as you need to be. Um, remove the string, push it in, pull it out. I think I explained that quite simply. If not, tell me I didn't, and I'll do it again, okay? This is really important, because you can crack the bridge, bridge pins will break, then you gotta get the bridge pin out of there. Then you gotta get matching bridge pins. Now you have five and one broken. And bridge pins are all different widths, different brands, different widths. So um, maybe your holes are opened up for a wider pin and then you get some new pins and they're narrow and it's way too loose, get a different pin. Um, so there you go. Very important information about acoustic bridge pins and stringing them up, okay? Good luck with that. Good day.